July 27th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy great martyr Pantelemon, and of the blind man who, healed by him, was slain by the sword. The holy and glorious martyr of Christ Pantelemon was born in Nicomedia of a pagan senator called Eustorgius and a Christian woman called Eubolia, who gave him the name Pantoleon. Placed under Euphrosinius, a well-known physician for his education, he gradually acquired a perfect knowledge of medicine, to such an extent that Emperor Galerius Maximian, having noted his qualities, offered to take him into the palace as his personal physician. The young man passed daily before the house where St. Hermolaus was in hiding. The holy priest, discerning the quality of his soul from his outward appearance, invited him in one day and began to teach him that medical science can only provide a very feeble support to our suffering and our mortal nature, and that Christ alone, the one true physician, has come to bring us salvation with neither medicine nor payment. His heart exulting with joy at hearing these words, the young Pantoleon began to visit St. Hermolaus regularly and was instructed by him in the great mystery of the faith. One day, on his way back from Euphrosinius, he found a dead child in the road that had been bitten by a viper. Reckoning that the moment had come to prove the truth of Hermolaus's promises, he called on the name of Christ, and the child immediately revived, and the reptile perished. He then ran to Armolaus's house, and being filled with joy, asked to receive holy baptism without delay. He then remained with the holy elder to rejoice in his teaching, and only went back home on the eighth day. To the questions of his concerned father, he replied that he had stayed at the palace to heal a man close to the emperor. Still keeping the news of his conversion secret, he worked hard at convincing Eustrogius of the futility of idol worship. Some time later, a blind man was taken to the senator and begged Pantoleon to heal him, as he had vainly used up his whole fortune on other physicians. Trusting in Christ, who henceforth dwelt in him with power, the young man assured his astonished father that he would heal him by his master's grace. He marked the eyes of the blind man with the sign of the cross, calling on Christ, and the man immediately received the sight, not only of his bodily eyes, but also the eyes of his soul, realizing that Christ had healed him. He was baptized by St. Hermolaus, together with Eustrogius, who very soon fell asleep in peace. Pantoleon then gave his inheritance away to the poor, freed his slaves, and devoted himself with a redoubled zeal to the care of the sick, of whom he asked no payment but their belief in Christ, who came on earth to heal all our ills. The other physicians of Nicomedia nourished jealous thoughts towards him and when he had cared for a Christian who had just been tortured at the emperor's command, they seized the opportunity to denounce him to Maximian. Having listened with sorrow to their complaint against his protégé, the emperor summoned the man who had been blind and questioned him on the way in which Pantoleon had restored his sight. Like the man born blind in the gospel, the man replied with simplicity that he had healed him by calling on the name of Christ, and that this miracle had brought him true light, the light of faith. The emperor, in his fury, had him beheaded immediately, and sent his man to find Pantoleon. When he had the saint in front of him, he reproached him with having betrayed his trust and accused him of having insulted Esculapius and the other gods by his faith in Christ, a man who had died by crucifixion. The saint replied that faith in God and devotion to him are greater than all the riches and all the honor of this vain world, and to support his words he suggested that Maximian put him to the test. They therefore brought a paralytic, over whom the pagan priests first made their incantations, accompanied by the saint's mockery. 
their efforts being ineffective, Pantoleon raised his prayer to God, and taking the paralytic by the hand, raised him in the name of Christ. Many of the pagans, seeing the man walking and exulting with joy, believed in the true God, while the pagan priest urged the emperor to put this dangerous rival to death. When Maximian reminded him of the tortures inflicted shortly before on St. Anthemus, whom we celebrate on September the 3rd, Pantoleon replied that if an old man has shown such courage, then all the more rightly must the young show themselves valiant under trial. Neither flattery nor threats being able to break his, his resolve, the tyrant gave him over to torture. Tied to a stake, his sides were lacerated with iron nails, and they then passed flaming torches over the wounds. But Christ, appearing to the holy martyr in the form of his spiritual father Hermolaus, said to him, Fear nothing, my son, for I am with you and will bring succor to all who suffer for me. The torches were extinguished at once, and the saint's wounds were healed. Thenceforth, whether he was plunged into burning pitch or thrown into the sea, weighed down by a heavy stone, the Lord was with him in all his trials and kept him unhurt. He was then thrown to the wild beasts, but there again Christ protected him, and the beasts came to fawn around his feet, licking him tenderly, as domestic animals would do. The emperor, however, remaining wilder than the irrational animals, ordered that the saint be tied to a wheel furnished with cutting blades, which they rolled down in sight of the whole town from a high place. The Lord intervened miraculously once more, and he freed his servant from his bonds, and the wheel wiped out a great number of pagans on its way down. When Maximian asked him the source of his power and how he had been brought to the Christian faith, Pantoleon indicated where Hermolaus was hiding, as God had revealed to him that the time had come for him and his master to confess their faith and to find perfection in martyrdom. After the glorious deaths of Hermolaus and his companions, the tyrant summoned Pantoleon before him again, and pretending that the martyrs had submitted, attempted to persuade him to sacrifice as well. The blessed man's only reply was to ask to see them. When the sovereign replied that he had sent them on a mission to another town, Pantoleon replied, You have spoken the truth in spite of yourself, you liar, as they are now indeed in the Jerusalem that is above. Being convinced now that he could not overcome Pantoleon's resolution, Maximian ordered that he be beheaded and that his body be burned. The saint went eagerly to the scaffold outside the town, but at the moment at which the executioner raised his sword, it melted like wax in the fire. Before this miracle, the soldiers who were present confessed the name of Christ. Pantoleon, however, exhorted them to carry out their duty and raise the last prayer. And a voice from heaven replied, Thou faithful servant, thy desire shall now be fulfilled. The gates of heaven are open to thee, and thy crown is prepared. Thou shalt henceforth be the refuge of the despairing, the succor of those under trial, the physician of the sick, and the terror of demons. And thy name shall therefore be not Pantoleon, but Panteleimon, which signifies most merciful. He bent his neck, and when his head fell, milk flowed from his neck, his body became white as snow, and the withered olive tree to which he had been bound suddenly burst into leaf and brought forth abundant fruit. The soldiers, who had been ordered to burn the saints' remains, handed them over to the faithful, who gave them devout burial on the estate of Amantius Scholasticus, and went to proclaim the good news in other places. Ever since then, St. Pantelimon's relics have never ceased to bring healing and the grace of Christ, the only physician of soul and body, to all who draw near with devotion and faith.
Blessed is of the Lord, who is now through the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in our places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In times of old, Oliphera's mighty host was overwhelmed by the power of supreme to arms. When the word took on our flesh, he utterly crushed and blotted out pernicious sin. For the Lord, who is most glorified, has gloriously been glorified. O holy great martyr Pantelemon, pray to God for us. Having eagerly drawn nigh unto Christ, thou didst raise up the dead child even before thou wast perfected in Christ. And now, O blessed Pantelemon, by thine entreaties, quicken me who am slain by the bite of sin. Holy great martyr Pantelemon, pray to God for Thou us. Thou didst rise up as a star, having the understanding of an elder and a godly mind even in thy youth, and adding beauty of soul to comeliness of body, thou didst appear exceedingly fair unto the world who is glorified. Holy great martyr Pantelemon, pray to God for us. Dying to the world and putting on Christ through the labor of baptism, O blessed Pantelemon, thou became a God-bearing instrument and a vessel of the Spirit's working, attending to all men, healing the sicknesses of all. Both glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thou didst acquire wisdom as thy friend, and took her as a partner of thy life, thou was honored of her, O blessed one, and thou was adorned with the crown of graces, glittering with the brightness of divine splendor. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O venerable and all pure virgin, in giving birth to Christ, thou hast crowned with blessings and freed from corruption the nature that came unto the curse by its disobedience to the Creator. Wherefore, in exultation, all we the faithful call thee blessed. O Lord, the desert, the barren church of the nations, flowered as a lily at thy presence, whereby my heart is established. O holy great Mount Martyr Pantelemon, pray to God for us. Hearkening to the oracles of the Spirit, thou became good and fertile earth, which received a very precious seed, and brought forth the salvation of souls, O thrice blessed Pantelemon. Holy great Martyr Pantelemon, pray to God for thou us. Thou didst mortify that way of thinking, which is the very bite of the dragon, and thou mayst thy soul to live, being regenerated through divine inspiration 
adoration and standing before the King of all. Holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for Thou us. Thou didst overturn the tyrant's godless command and didst run to Christ and gaining him in the stead of all else. Thou became the great merchant, O godly minded Pantalemon. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Loving your mother's piety, thou didst hate your father's much troubled godlessness, O glorious one, electing in thy prudence that which is better. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord, who upholds all creation by his divine will, is held in thy hands, O Virgin. Importune him now that our souls be delivered from perils. Bearing witness for Christ's sake courageously, preaching unto thy Father the saving faith, thou truly didst draw him up from the deep pit of ignorance, and not fearing the tyrant's ungodly audacity, thou didst shame all the powerless pride of the demon hosts. Hence thou didst receive from God the grace to heal ailments, a body and soul alike, O our famed and most glorious, Pantalemon, I extol of all. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them, that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By conceiving the wisdom and word of God in thy womb without being consumed thereby, thou bearest for all the world him whose might doth uphold the world. With the milk of thy breast thou hast fed him who feedeth all, and hast held in thine arms him who beareth the universe. Wherefore I beseech thee, O thou holy virgin, and mother of God, that I be redeemed from my many sins, when I shall have to stand before the face of my Creator and God, O pure lady, virgin, help me in that hour, for I, thine unworthy servant, have thee as mine only hope. hope. Neither an angel nor yet an ambassador, O my Lord, but thyself incarnate, camest from a virgin and holy maid, rescuing me, the whole man. Wherefore I cry to thee, glory to thy power, O Lord my God. O holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. Pierce to the yearning for thy master, thou didst distribute thy riches to the poor, stripping yourself a contest which thou didst accomplish, looking to those hopes of eternity. Holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for thou us. Thou didst offer a sacrifice of praise unto God, openly abhorring the devotions of the idols, and thou throwest down all the haughtiness of the ungodly oppressed. Prize winner. Holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. While warring with them, thou were smitten with envy and ill will, O martyr, thou didst oppose them with invincible power, and thou didst overcome, turning profane tyranny to flood. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He that was held in the arms of the elder Simeon, caught thee by an elder's words, O Pantalemon, and drew thee unto divine knowledge for the salvation salvation and deliverance of many. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Young maidens and virgins who ran after thee, O virgin, as they beheld thee, the young virgin maiden and mother, for thou alone hast inexpressibly joined both into one, O bride of God. O Christ, my Saviour, enlightenment of those who lie in darkness and salvation of the despairing, rising early unto thee, O King of the world, May I be enlightened by thy radiance, for I know none other God than thee. 
O holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. Thou didst submit thyself to the struggles of martyrdom with exceeding joy, being fenced round about with divine power, and while enduring the torment with steadfast patience, thou didst cry out in gladness, I know none other God but thee. Holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. Leading the athletic contest, O blessed Pantalemon, thou overcamest with divine power, the profane tyranny and superstitious madness of the atheists, closed as thou wast with Christ, the setter of the contest. Holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. Possessing the fortitude of a young man and a mighty stature of soul, thou didst endure every torture mightily and with manly resolve. O blessed one, made strong by the grace of the divine cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. With the heavenly teaching, the prize winner refuted the obscure discourse of the erring, and strengthened by thee, working with him, O Christ, he became the cause of a marvellous salvation for many. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The oracles and dark sayings of all the wise men and the foretellings of the prophets manifestly prefigured thee, O glorious Virgin, who in these latter times was to be the birth giver of God, for we know none other pure besides thee. Compass by the abyss of my many sins, I invoke the boundless abyss and unfathom deep of thy compassion, O my Christ. Raise me up out of corruption, O Lord my God. O holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. Working strange wonders and performing cures, thou spat upon the images of error, and didst destroy delusion at its height, O divinely wise Pantalemon. Holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. Thou hast been shown to be a crowned victor of unequalled excellence, for thou went through fire and water, and while stretched upon the wheel, thou marvellously made away with them that were void. Void of understanding. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou overthrowest the impudence of the tyrants, when by grace thou forged through the most unbearable bodily tortures with firmness of soul, O godly-minded Pantelemon. Glory both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that compasses the circumference of the earth as God, who in his divine form is uncircumscribable, is held in thine arms in the circumscription of the body, O pure one. Since thou art an imitator of the merciful one, and hast received from him the grace of healing, O prize winner and martyr of Christ our God, by thy prayers heal the diseases of our souls, and ever dispel the stumbling blocks of the enemy from them that cry unceasingly, Save us, O Lord. O lovers of Christ, let us reverently praise the memorial of the unmercenary, the contest of the noble contender, the healings of that faithful man, so that we may receive mercy, especially any who, like me, have befouled their own temples. For Pantalemon bestows healing both of soul and body. Wherefore, brethren, let us be diligent to establish securely in our hearts him who delivers from error them that cry unceasingly, Save us, O Lord. Save us, O Lord. The transgressing tyrants command that was set against God fanned yet higher the flame of the fire. But Christ spread the dew of the Spirit over the God-fearing children, for he is blessed and supremely glorious. O holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. Striving lawfully in contest and overcoming the enemy, all celebrated Pantalemon, thou becames an all-peaceful haven for them that are storm-tossed at sea, and a light unto those in the darkness of life, whom thou also taught to sing. 
Blessed are thou, the God of our fathers. Holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. Blessed are thou, and well shall it be with thee, O most blessed, who has now duly received thy thrice blessed and happy hope, which is laid up for them that cry with faith unto the Lord. Blessed are thou, the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The souls of the saints, the choirs of the righteous, the incorporeal order of the angels, received thee as one of their choir, O blessed one. For being beheaded by the sword, thou didst sing in gladness, Blessed are thou, O God of our Father. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The sword that once separated us from the tree of life, now turning about, welcomes thou who are signed with the blood that issued from thy son's side. O blessed and all blameless virgin who gave birth to God in the flesh. God, who descended into the fiery furnace for the Hebrew children and transformed the flame into dew. Him, yes, Lord, all your works and supremely exalt him for all ages. O holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. The keenness of thine intelligence heals thy father's dullness of soul and recompensing with light those who have recourse to thee with faith. It guides them unto Christ, the Saviour, O all-blessed Pantalemon. Holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God when for us. thou had been slaughtered for Christ's sake, thou was conveyed to life everlasting, and thou art known to be called of God, honoured with the divine name by Christ. Christ, O godly minded one, and thou dost supremely exalt Christ unto the ages. Be blessed, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Casting aside the polished and subtle prating of the sophists, thou by calling upon Christ dost cut out painful sufferings by the roots, healing them that supremely exalt Christ unto the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We know thee to be a clear spring of immortality, O Theotokos, since thou gavest birth to the word of the immortal Father, who delivers from death all that supremely exalt him unto the ages. Our God and Lord, the Son of the Father, which is without beginning, has appeared to us incarnate of a virgin, to enlighten those in darkness and to gather the dispersed. Wherefore we magnify thee, O him, Theotokos. O holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. In jubilation thou hast translated to the uttermost of things desired, and there pitching thy tent, O most blessed, that most blessed end hast thou been counted worthy to receive, being with thy master to infinite eternity. Holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God thou for us. Thou didst attain to thy desire and the fulfillment of thy longing, while yet dripping with the warm blood poured out for Christ, and shed for his sake, for whom, O all blessed Pantalemon, thou hast joyously received the crowns of thy contest. Holy great martyr Pantalemon, pray to God for us. Like Daniel of old, thou didst bridle the yoke owning jaws of lions and the mouths of wild beasts, for even the nature of brutes knows to reverence the martyr's virtue. Wherefore, all fame, Pantalemon, as we gather together, we call thee blessed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ grants thee a wealth of goodness, giving us in thee a treasure of healings, and since thou art all merciful by disposition, he provides thee to all in affliction as a calm haven and a protector and helper. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Like the fleece thou didst conceive the heavenly reign in thy womb, O all blameless virgin, and thou gavest birth for our sakes to him that gives ambrosia to those who praise him as God and declare thee to be the all hymned Theotokos. O Pantalemon, the most wise, sacred and fair adornment of the unmercenary saints and of the godly martyrs, the holy glory of Christians, from heaven give the victory unto the church well granting peace to the world and 
salvation to those on earth, who with faith extol thee and sing thy praises. Or with the Mother of our God, thou dost entreat for all men. Wisdom, most holy Mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O oh, oh, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, in the praise of his holy and all pure mother, with the praise of Saint John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, at the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, she saw as the great of Egypt, Brandon the navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molog, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy, glorious, great martyr and healer Pantelemon. With the prayers of the blind man who was healed by Saint Pantelemon, who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of the 153 martyrs of Thrace who were perfected in martyrdom in the sea. With the prayers of our righteous mother Antusa, the confessor, who was in the most holy convent of Martinus. With the prayers of our righteous father Manuel. With the prayers of the holy martyrs Felix, Julia and Jucunda of Nola of Campania. With the prayers of the holy martyrs Aurelius and Sabigotho, his wife, Felix and Liliosa, his wife, and George, a high deacon of St. Sava Monastery in Palestine, who were beheaded in Cordova by the Moors in 852. With the prayers of our righteous fathers, Clement the Wonderworker, Archbishop of Ochrid, and Angelar, Gorazd, Nahum, and Saba, the disciple of St. Cyril and Methodius. With the prayers of our righteous father Nicholas, the cabbage thrower, the fool for Christ's sake of Novgorod, who reposed in 1392. With the prayers of our father among the saints Joasaf, Metropolitan of Moscow. With the prayers of the holy new Hieromartyrs Demetrius of Nizhny Kargatskoye and Cyril of Verhye Kargatskoye, who was slain by the atheists in 1919. With the prayers of St. Congal and St. Luican and those with them whose memory we also keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.